Well, we're underneath the hood of our 1971 F100 Super Custom Short Box Pickup Truck. I'm not a truck guy, so we gotta, you got to bear with me on this. Uh, it does have what appears to be the original 302 V8 motor in it. still has a cast iron exhaust manifolds on it. It does have the original intake and auto light uh, two-barrel carburetor that it uh, uh, was born with, from what I can see. Original distributor. It has a Ford Motorsport dress-up kit on it, which means it has chrome valve pan covers and a chrome air cleaner with the 302 2V uh, designation on it, which would be correct. It does have a brand spanking new battery in it, new alternator, an updated compressor for the air conditioning. So this vehicle does have factory air conditioning and also it has the original heater hookup with it also. Um, a big benefit to this vehicle. It has the original condenser in the front that's never been molested in any way, no dings or marks or anything from um, any trauma through the years. Original radiator core support, heavy duty Ford radiator in it, looks to be a new one or completely reconditioned, one of the two, but it, it has been reconditioned. Does have a fan shroud on it, um, original equipment Ford, the original jack underneath the hood yet in the bracket that it belongs in, original windshield washer reservoir, does have power steering, does not have power brakes, but it does have a two stage. Uh, master cylinder that appears to be brand new in this baby. So that's a big plus. Um, just an original, original looking, other than some dress up items and a new compressor, uh, as it would have left the factory in 1971 in this pickup truck. 302 V8, uh, automatic steering, factory air conditioning with an updated compressor. Got it all underneath the hood of this thing. It's a really great, great. Uh, uh, engine compartment for a uh, 71 Ford short block pickup truck. Let's go around it and see what we can see. Hi, you're at Hangsters in Daytona Beach, Florida. And today we have an offering of a 1971 Ford F100 short box pickup truck. Uh, it's called a Sport Custom. Uh, paint on the vehicle is very, very, very nice. Uh, I'm sure it's been a repaint through the years, but there's no dents or dings or chips or marks or anything on the front end of this vehicle. The original um, Ford lettering across the nose of it, a little tiny bit of patina through the years, but certainly nothing that you would replace. Original uh, trim around the front of this vehicle, uh, aluminum nose on it. Uh, this has been polished. I know Jeff took some uh, polishing uh, um, white diamond uh, metal polish to it the other day and really made this thing pop out at you. I mean, it really almost looks like chrome at this point. It's usually more of a dull aluminum color, but at this point it looks like chrome. He really got carried away with it, with the white diamond product. Um, nice filler underneath. Uh, everything looks to be good. Everything lined up nice. All your aluminum is polished away. You could never get it polished any more than it is. Um, original bumper guard, optional bumper guards for the front. Chrome on the front bumper appears to be the original bumper and the original chrome, and there would be certainly no reason to replace it. There's no marks on the bumper or the bumperettes. Uh, amber turn signal parking lamps uh, in the front, nice, clean, and clear. Um, plastic in the grill, it's not broken anywhere, nothing uh, disrupted at all on the front end of this car. Really nice. A uh, nice representation of a uh, 71 Ford pickup truck on the nose. I don't see anything out of place. Let's see what's on the driver's side. Okay, driver's side of our F100 uh, Ford pickup truck, short box. And you can see the designation there, Ford F100. Uh, a little bit of fade on this uh, front side marker lamp. And instead of being all amber, it appears to have faded a little bit, probably from the uh, heat of the uh, marker light through the... Uh, uh, years. Trim around the fenders. Very nice. No dents at all in it. The original trim down the side. Really nice. Paint on the side of this vehicle. Hood fitment is really nice on it. Got about a quarter of an inch gap around the back part of it up to the uh, cowl area. Original arms. Um, aftermarket. Uh, uh, more modern blades on it. 
trim around the windshield. All original yet. Yeah, one little storm ding there, bing through the years. But other than that, I don't see anything on this side. Tinted windshield. No marks on that. Nice dash area. Very nice. It doesn't appear to be uh, deteriorated. A little tiny bit from age down along the edge of the rubber on the inside. But other than that, about as nice as you'd ever find. Rocker panel molding is really nice. This particular vehicle has a set of updated Ford wheels on it. Um, I'm going to guess they're 91s. I, I remember having some of the Ford F100s back in the early uh, middle 90s that had this type of uh, a wheel with the drilled holes through it. Uh, really nice machined aluminum wheel with a nice set of Cooper Cobra white letter tires to accent them. Nice setup on this truck. Very, very nice. Original rubbers around the wing area. Uh, original Ford style mirror on the door. Fender, the door is really nice on this vehicle. The trim around the windows is still the original trim and it doesn't need to be replaced. Some kind of stainless steel awnings on it here. The uh, drip rail, wow, the drip rail on this is really nice. Very nice. All the way across the front, all the way down the side, really looks great. Original door handles, again, a slightest tiny bit of patina, but you would never ever think of replacing it. It's, it this is a nice original representation of a uh, 1971 Ford truck. I mean, there's no rust on it. It's original trim, original pretty much everything on it. Probably one repaint through the years, and that's about it. Again, the uh, trim going down the side of the door onto the cab corners is really sweet and nice. Rocker panel again, bottoms of the doors. Everything lines up as it should. Paint on the door is beautiful. Original gas cap. Rubber around the gas cap it is the original rubber. Um, I wouldn't change it. It's got some cracks in it, but originality counts a lot of times, and it doesn't need replaced, so I leave it alone. It has a sliding rear window in it, which was probably an option from Ford back in uh, 71. It does have a cargo light, and I know those were an option in 71 on these vehicles. Paint, I can't see the top of the roof, but the paint is uh, really nice on this vehicle, all over, very nice. Bedside, again the trim, fender lip, again no marks, that's totally amazing. No tin, no bondo, no putty or anything anywhere. Some kind of, I don't know what they are, banisters or something uh, across the top of the bed. And down the sides of this bed is just laser, laser straight. Again, look at the Look at the trim on this. A couple of screws here holding it on, which I'm sure through the years the clips uh, gave way and someone uh, neatly put a couple of screws. You really have to look to see them, but they aren't there. Sport custom designation. But down the side of this thing, I'm totally amazed on this. You know, the alignment of the uh, trim, uh, the fit of the uh, panels, the door, the alignment of the uh, uh, bed to the door, to the cab, to the front fenders, everything is as sweet as could be. It's a great looking truck down the driver's side. Let's see what's out back. Okay, around the back end of our 1971 super custom Ford truck. Uh, tail light bezels are absolutely gorgeous and they are original. Uh, a little reflector type light there, still uh, nice and clear and crisp. The uh, Ford plaque across the back, no dents or dings or anything in it. And it is the original aluminum pan across the back. Look at this, nothing on the side of this, uh, absolutely nothing. There's no dents, no nothing in it. It's amazing. Usually from years of usage, you know, there's been weight put on them and they're bent or dented or marked in some way. This one is not, absolutely is not. Uh, aftermarket bumper on it with a step on it, step bumper. Um, trailer hitch uh, for putting the two hooks and the, um, the ball on there. Uh, chrome on the back bumper, really, really nice, very nice. The uh, trim around this uh, right hand tail light, just as it is on the left hand, as nice as you'd ever want to find. Nice clean and clear plastics on them. Can't get any better than that. Back end of this vehicle is just absolutely gorgeous. There's no, there's no issues whatsoever with it. The alignment of the uh, tailgate on it is uh, just as linear as you'd ever want to find. 
It's a great, uh, a great looking truck. Great looking truck in every way. Let's see what's on the right hand side. Okay, up the right hand side, passenger side of our super custom F100 pickup truck. Uh, the tail section you can see is just as sweet as you'd ever want to find. Again, nice sharp tin, no filler, no bondo of any type. Uh, molding down the side just as absolutely nice as could be. Fender lip molding, no dinghies, no marks. Rocker panel type molding, again, all nice sharp tin everywhere. Really nice down the side. Banister on this side too. There's absolutely nothing to report on the bed of this truck. It's just as straight and nice as you could ever, ever hope to find one. Absolutely no issues whatsoever. Drip rail on this side, same as the other side. Absolutely, absolutely flawless. Whiskers on this side, again original, but don't need to replace. Trim around the wing, same way. Right hand mirror, big plus on these guys. Gotta have a right hand mirror. Little patina on top of the uh, door handle. Originality again, but nothing to replace. Again, cab to door to, to bed, as nice as you'd ever want to find. Rocker panel moldings, not all chipped up or marked up through the ears. Look at this. The door to the cab, to the front fender, to the cowl area. Everything lines up as sweet as you would ever hope it to. Look. Trim down the side of the door. Front fender. Fender lift. Front bumper alignment was the same as the back, just as sweet as can be. A little patino on both of these. I neglected to mention them on that side. It does give you F100 designation for the Ford. This is faded a little bit in the center too, just like the other one. But the chrome is a little bit of patino on top, a little bit of wear. It's not pitted up or anything like that. It's just the chrome has started to show some age there. Correct Ford original antenna for this guy. And stone dinghy right there. Somewhere through the years, one bounced up from a, another truck and went bang. At least it didn't hit the windshield. It hit this piece of trim right there. That's the only mark I can find on the side of this vehicle anywhere. Again, you know, just as nice and straight as you'd ever hope to find one. Um, it's just a really nice 71 Ford F100 Super Custom short bed pickup truck. Uh, there's no deterioration that we can show you on this thing anywhere. We're going to show you an interior uh, presentation here in a minute, but uh, it just shows all originality in the interior as it does on the exterior other than being one repaint. And honestly, I can't even see where it's been painted, but I know it has to have been. The paint's too nice on it. Um, no rust or anything, uh, all tin around the bed. Just as straight, straight, nice a vehicle as you can have with a 302 V8 in it. Air conditioning, power steering. How much better does it get than that? Okay, we're inside our 71 Super Custom Ford Short Box. As original as this thing was on the outside, that's how original it is on the inside. Look at this, original sun visor still intact, the headliner. Uh, paint around the inside of the vehicle is just nice and clean. Door panels are really nice. I can't believe they're original. The armrests are definitely original. All the hardware is original. They must be original. I don't know, but they're in excellent condition. Original uh, ductwork for the uh, air conditioner that this car came with from the factory. There are one, there's one little tiny I can almost get my fingernail in it right here. It's not even through the whole way, just about a third of the way through the wheel, a crack starting to separate um, on the plastic wheel. Other than that, no cracks or no marks, no separations on the wheel. Nice clear uh, dash assembly in it. All the gauges appear to be nice and clear and clean. Uh, aftermarket radio installed in it. Uh, all your controls for the air conditioning and your uh, heat and uh, uh, defrost and everything are there. All the uh, controls are just nice and clean. Column uh, shift automatic, three speed automatic in this particular vehicle. Appears to be the original carpeting and the original seat, original interior in this vehicle. Just as sweet and nice as can be. It does have tinted glass all around except for this back window. It's an aftermarket window or a Ford option window, but the side windows 
and front are tinted because it is an air-conditioned car, I'm sure. Uh, just a really nice, clean interior in this thing. It does have the uh, seat belts also. Wow, real nice uh, original seat belt assemblies in it also. Real nice, clean vehicle inside, just mimics what we went around outside. So we're going to go for a ride in it and put it up on the rack and show you what we have underneath it too. So as far as we've gotten now, you've got a truck that represents itself as 90% original in every way. Great looking vehicle. Okay. Let's see what we got working here. We have temperature gauge is starting to move. It is starting to come up. Oil pressure is not working. Fuel gauge shows half tank. It is working. Alternator's working. Wipers are working. Compressor kicked on. The air conditioning is working. and blowing cold. Yeah, this is cold. You can use that. Horn is not working. See if the speedometer is here real quickly. The speedometer is functioning. Tranny shifts really nice. Nice firm shift. Brake stop nice and square. No hands on the wheel. Brakes just stop nice as can be. Hope for somebody behind me getting a little irritated right now. All the gauge is functioning with the exception of the oil pressure. Sending unit must be defective. We have to replace the sending unit. Uh, other than that, I can't see a single thing wrong with this thing. Everything nice and solid, tight truck. Let's go for a... Well, it's no 700 horsepower Chevelle, but here goes. Your hangers in Daytona Beach underneath our 1971 Ford Super Custom 100 pickup truck. This thing is really, really a nice truck. It's going to be very nominally priced. You're going to be really surprised what you could buy this truck for. And it's incredibly nice. It runs fantastic. I mean, I did drive the truck. We're going to do a drive video for you on it, but it fantastic running truck. It does have factory air conditioning. It does have power steering. Disc brakes in the front. Everything in the front end is nice and tight. All new rubber bushings and everything on your trailing arms. Front springs are nice and uh, nice and tall yet on this thing. Uh, backing plates are real nice, not rusted. Rotors are very, very nice and thick on the front end of this car, truck. Newer shocks in the front. Engine apparently has been out and refreshed. Uh, the oil pan you can see has no leaks whatsoever, not a single drop. No drippage from the uh, bell housing area or the transmission pan. This thing is bone dry underneath the front end of this. Heavy duty radiator, the cooling line still running to it as it should be. Cast iron exhaust manifolds on this particular car. It's either like inch and seven eighths or maybe even two inch uh, primary pipes uh, coming off of the uh, cast iron manifolds heading toward the back. The front frame structure on this is a C-channel the whole way. It's an actual perimeter frame, but uh, uh, with cross braces that Ford uh, engineered for this vehicle. But the frame itself doesn't have any marks or dings or dents in it from a usage through the years. Not to this point, anyway. We'll see what's on the back half, but to this point, there's absolutely nothing. Floor pans appear to be original floor pans. Drop downs onto the uh, rocker panels are just as nice and fresh as they were when they were new. Yeah, a little bit of, it's like uh, where the undercoating starting to flake a little bit. Um, you could scrape it off and hit it with some more undercoat. you never see it. 
on that side, and the same thing on this side. Just a couple of little flake places you can pick off with your fingernail from what I can see. But original floor pans, nothing, uh, nothing's been disrupted there that I can see at all. Cross member is good. The mount appears to be original, but it's not disrupted in any way. It still looks nice and fresh rubber. Again, all the rubbers on the uh, front suspension are nice and uh, resilient yet and fresh. They're not cracked up or uh, distorted in any way. Our primary pipes go into two cherry bomb mufflers. Uh, again, the framework this far back is absolutely nice and, and, and undisrupted at all, that C-channel frame. Original fuel line, original brake line. Um, I, I don't see anything that's been disrupted in this thing at all. The original wiring going back toward the rear end is still intact inside the frame. Uh, newer U-joint on the uh, front of the drive shaft. Again, you can see no leaks whatsoever from the rear of the transmission. Automatic tranny, by the way. Um, <clears throat> I don't see anything that's out of place in this vehicle. Uh, the substructures on the uh, floor pans and where it transitions up over from one side to the other um, over the frame. I, absolutely nothing. Just all pinch welded just the way they were from the factory. Uh, the floor pan uh, in the back part of the uh, bed, the gas tank area, uh, that is, there, there's no, uh, no dents or anything in the tank. Um, I, there's absolutely nothing to, to report that's out of place in this thing, absolutely nothing. Uh, let's see what's uh, on the main frame uh, from the middle back and uh, on the bed underneath. Let's take a look at that and we'll see what we can find there for you. Okay, the back of our cab, the same way as the rest of it, absolutely undisrupted. Um, it's just as sweet as you'd ever want to ever find one. I can't imagine another vehicle being this original underneath and uh, just no rust at all. I don't see anything at all. A little, couple of little scale pieces on the uh, uh, undercoating itself, but uh, nothing uh, structurally, nothing on the frame that I can detect. Inner parts of the bed, even up around the fender lips of the bed itself, the bed sides, where most of these things have an issue of uh, rusting, that's still all original on this vehicle. Uh, you can see the uh, crimp marks where they're uh, stamped and put together. Uh, it, <laughs> it's really undisrupted. The frame itself, going toward the back, again, uh, absolutely zip. Man, one mark right here from a jack stand, and I'll bet there's going to be one right here. Those are the only two marks that I can see that are on the frame, and they're from jack stands, and they're very superficial. You really got to look to see them. Pipes toward the back are probably about inch and three quarters. They look like about two inch in the front, inch and three quarters back here. New shocks in the back. Nice curvature to the springs. Uh, the spring uh, perches, I guess you could call them torque boxes. They're really not, but uh, the spring perches in the uh, front are nice. And again, multi-leaf springs with a nice arch to them. There's a uh, a helper leaf on the bottom, about a half an inch away from the main leaves, and uh, uh, it's just strong looking. Nine inch Ford heavy duty rear end, heavy duty rear drum brakes. Uh, new tires all around on this thing, by the way. They still have the little nubblies on them yet. Uh, the floor underneath this bed is absolutely flawless. There's absolutely nothing, I mean, absolutely nothing that you could. Uh, uh, say anything about it. even the back part of the uh, bed behind the uh, rear wheels where it, it rolls down and then comes out the uh, metal is just as sharp as could possibly be the two substructure braces are still original in there the structural bracing underneath the um, the bed itself uh, that strengthens the frame toward the back in fact Ford really went overboard with this because there's a brace there there's one there um, there's one huge one here that, that ties the frame section together and also a very thick one across the back and one at the very end of the back of this frame also. So this thing's really uh, structurally uh, supported by Ford uh, Engineering. They did a heck of a job on doing this. I think they went overboard with all the bracing, but uh, uh, it's all good, uh, undisrupted in every way. The rear spring perches, same way as the front ones. They're really, really nice condition. There's absolutely... Uh, there's no deterioration underneath this truck at all. I, I, it's, it's as new as you're ever going to find one. It's a 150 Super Custom V8 air conditioning, power steering, solid as a rock underneath. Just as nice a vehicle as you'd ever want to see on top and inside. We're going to go for a test ride and see what it runs like.